right um yeah this is a patron request from scott dave matthews he said that yeah he said i love this so and he said about the guitar playing i think it's slide from tim reynolds dave matthews name rings a bell but i can't tell you why it's one of them again where yeah i don't know why i kind of know that name but then yeah tim reynolds um bartender so yeah like i say i don't know i don't know tim reynolds but dave matthews rings a bell i think i might know one song of his but not well enough to know it offhand but yeah um so let's check it out let's go Actually singing sounding like a didgeridoo. I don't know why this sounds like mystical or spiritual or mythical. Is that a word? I don't think so. But definitely spiritual. Like almost Native American. Well, I suppose Native Australian because it does sound like a didgeridoo, his voice on that. Slide is violent.
forget me if I go Bob's in love, please Fill my glass for me With the wine you gave Jesus That set him free after three days in the ground I like this again it's kind of worked off what i said I'm not sp spiritual i guess but more like religious it definitely has a kind of otherworldly feel and it's an it's an amazing racket to be made by two guitars one his backing is fire i know like the slide is the kind of but that backing i say it all the time rhythms to me is harder like for people to play than just because you can mechanically learn scales and you can mechanically learn the rhythm is something you have or you don't. It's as simple as that. But that that back in the he that that driving back in. Um and then yeah, the slide is fire. Oh they has gotta have some effect on that. But a weird use of slide, it doesn't even sound like slide. He's he's it sounds like um, of an a, yeah a whole different instrument, but an amazing sound for two people um, with guitars. And if I die before my time, our oh, sweet sister of mine, please. Don't regret me if I die Bartender, please Fill my glass for me With the wine you gave Jesus That set him free after three days in the ground Bartender, please, yeah glass for me with the wine you gave Jesus that set him free after three days in the ground in the ground what's the lie come on bend bend knees I pray on God send her please When I was young, I never think about it now. I just want to run and hide. Come on, baby. And if all this gold here should steal my soul away. Oh dear mother of mine, please redirect me if this goal Bartender, you see The wine that's drinking me Came from the vine that strong Judas From the devil's tree, his roots deep, deep in the ground and you see, yeah, yeah, the wine that's drinking me came from the vine that strong Judas from the devil's tree, his roots deep, deep in the ground. In the ground, you watch the light. Oh, my.
Bartender, please Bartender, please My dear friend Tim Reynolds. Yeah, that was fire. What a like it's an odd structure to the song. It was almost like John Martin esque, like his style of writing. Not what I was expecting, but what a great like listening to such a full sound and then you're like this is two of them it's crazy his voice is yeah very powerful too because his voice carried that like in in such a big venue too for such an intimate what should be in an intimate thing is they still managed to make it sound in like intimate like that but Yeah, what a voice, what a voice, like that was otherworldly, but not only that, his backing was just fire, and the slide, I'm try I was trying to think of what that sounds like, I'm not sure if it's a sitar, but he made it not sound like slide, like he didn't, because slide is really... Slide's true home is the blues. But this top, like, he was using, and I said it before, Slide is, I don't really like playing Slide. You have to change the tuning to the guitar, and there's you're very limited in what you can actually do on Slide. Um, so, yeah, he's he found something completely unique with a Slide. To make it, it made it sound. I can't put my finger on what instrument is. Maybe it was string, a string, um, like a, hmm, like a violin or something. But also, what was also you noticed is how well they played together. There was almost like the same thing separated into two. Is that bit where it he was doing the jing and then the other one was jing. And then they kind of switched out. It was only for like a bar or something. But then it come back in with. But how they did that. Like the ease and. Yeah. Yeah that was fire. And it wasn't what I was expecting. And it's an insane. It's an insane. Um, song to play in such of a. In front of a big audience. And to fill the room like that did. Like his voice is like the range of his voice is very, very impressive. And then like long notes, like I say it was, it was like spiritual. Yeah. Very fire. Very fire. I think, yeah, maybe I'm I'm wrong as well, because I'm sure that Dave Matthews I'm thinking of is a rock thing. But I could be thinking of someone else, to be fair. Because I was with the John Spencer Blues Explosion. Someone said, no, you're thinking of the Spencer Davis group. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that is what I was thinking of. Um, but, yeah, that was fire. Fire. Very different. Very different. 
great duo, no? A great duo that just works well together. Definitely, yeah. But yeah, that's the reaction. Sweet. 